The second element is petal. Petal, which is also sketched based on circles, is another element of manuscript illumination. Petal has many usages in manuscript illumination. If we start from the center of a petal, it is a semicircle which eventually can become a circle. The other elements of petals can become circles if we continue their lines. If they don't create circles, they won't look nice. The elements of petals are also based on circles. That is, if we continue the elements, they need to become circles. The decorations we used when drawing a paisley design could be used in drawing a petal as well. That is, first we draw a faint semicircle and add decorations to the design. If the decorations are based on circles and meet our expectations, we can trace them and make them darker. When drawing petals, draw a faint semicircle as a guide. This faint line helps you not to draw petals beyond the line you have drawn. We can add different decorations to this part of the petal. We add decorations inside the petal as well.
Herat Contemporary Manuscript Illumination gives the freedom to artists in designing petals. Now I will show you one example of such petal. The first two petals are symmetrical. However, this is a free petal which does not follow a specific rule. We can have this freedom when adding decorations to the petal as well.
So we summarize what we did to create a petal. First, we sketch a petal. The petal should not go beyond the faint line we have drawn. We put a few periods on the line so that we indicate where the tip of the leaf should meet. Then we can add decorations inside the petal. We can even add decorations inside the decorations we added. But it's better to follow the steps we discussed. First, sketch the petal in your mind. Then sketch it on the paper. And afterwards, add decorations to it. At the end, after following these steps,